right, we're going to record this, even though I don't know how much is actually going to make it on. So I went ahead and started um, this playthrough. I, I didn't get very far. All I've done so far is I drew a chit out of the cup. It was Prussia. They um, rolled their d6. They received three action points, plus their two took them up to five. But they had to um, take away one of those points because they had borrowed to retreat. So they actually only have four action points. And so what I'm doing now is looking to see what the Prussians are going to do. Again, I just started this. I started the game. I had not planned on showing any of this. I may, depending on time. I'm trying to get um, a video out for Wednesday to have an update. And my plan was to play the entire game and show you uh, at the end of each turn what it looked like. But I think what might happen is I'm going to play to the end of uh, this entire turn if I can. Um, this is 1757. Maybe I can get to the uh, the winter phase of this and then stop it, but we'll see. I may play the entire thing and you may never even see this part, but then who knows? And let's see. So where was I at? Yeah, so they've got their action points. I was just looking to see what they could spend them on. They cannot spend to recover this unit because they're uh, under siege. They... They are not under siege here. Um, this unit is under siege, so they could recover these units. They could definitely recover these two units. That would be two action points to, to recover those. And honestly, I think I think what I might do is do that. I may recover these. Again, I can't recover this unit, but I can recover these two. So that would be two action points, and then I could spend under here. We have two units up here. I could bring these units down to help try to reinforce that. I could also spend an action point to move this stack with King Frederick in it to here to try to, what was that, Tor, Torgal? Torgal? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's risky because uh, Frederick is in that stack, and of course if you lose Frederick, you lose the game. Um, What to do, what to do. I know we still have this problem down here building. Is a, is that a, that's a resource for it. They would love to get their hands on that if they could. So I'm going to spend two action points to recover both of these. I can't march them if I recover them. Let's put that back for a second. Remember, if you recover a unit, it cannot march the same phase. I could recover them, but that's not going to do a whole lot of good as far as moving those two. And I still could move these two down. And I could still move. This was, this is, um, Austria getting that second turn really helped them here because that kind of puts Prussia in a bind. Now, I do believe Prussia still has another chit in that cup, so there is that. If it comes out, they don't draw the end turn. Tell you what, I'm still going to spend two action points to recover these two units. Because I think we're going to need as many full strength units up here as we can get. That's going to recover those two. Now I cannot move those. Reaching down here to grab a, a recovered marker if I can find one. Here we go. So they recovered. No marching is available. As a reminder to me. And it would cost... Bring this down to here, it would be, I think it's, I believe it'd be two. I think it's one to move here and then the extra one to move into a under siege space, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it would be two points to move to there. Might buy time. It would, like I said, the one good thing about having units in a fort is it can tie up armies. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend two more. I hate to do this because... It is Prussia. There's so much more I wanted to do. I can't recover this unit, but I can now bring these two down to here. Now I'm questioning if I really wanted to do that. It's not a resource for it. One or more units just entered an enemy space. This also applies to a space with an ongoing siege. It negates the one action point cost to initiate. So. Build battles are resolved before fort battle. So I guess this does happen. I guess there is a battle. It's just that these um, 
Well, first, well, I was going to say, first we can decide if we want to treat, but that's silly because we've marched them down there. Uh, I'm going to put the Austrian units on the attacker side because technically they're still the attackers here. You're not going to be able to see this because, like I said, uh, my intent here was to accelerate the playthrough of this to get it over with because I got so much more that I want to get out onto the table. And the thought did occur to me that maybe I set up another table. <laughs> And keep and keep and start another game on that, but that's that might be getting to be a bit much. So there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Austrian setup, and then the defenders. We have we have a leader, a full strength or fully recovered full strength unit, and then we have a depleted unit. So. And I'm going to move the active battle thing over here so that we know that this is now battle going on. Uh, so I'm going to have one unit retreat to the fort, and that's going to be the one that's already depleted. Because if he's in the fort, he can still fire. Are there any tactics cards that the Prussians could play here? I don't think so. They could disable the effect of forest or wetlands, but that's not going to do any good. Uh, and I forgot, I could have used the uh, Rapid Advance card. They have two of those. I should have checked these first, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say they, they did play um, one of those Rapid Advance cards. That's going to give them two more action points. They certainly would have done that, and that was just me not checking the cards like I should have. Okay, and then the Cavalry charge. So that's not going to do any good, and we'll check the Austrians' cards here real quick to make sure... And they have three rapid mobilization cards, so it's not going to do me any good here. I'm just looking. So it's before before they march their forces or in a winter turn. So not going to do me any good. No cards. It's simply going to be. And again, I got to be careful here because I got the attacker and defender is kind of flip flopped in my mind because the Austrians were sieging, but yet the Russians have come in to kind of help with that siege. All right. Well, it says here the defender attacks first and. I think that's going to be the Austrians because these guys are marching in to kind of to help relieve this siege. So we're going to say the Austrians get to fire first. And uh, the leader here, and he has a name I can actually say, it looks like Brown. His um, his rating is uh, eight. So he can, he can, he can do all eight of these units, uh, get his bonus of two. So we need eight D6 have those and it's plus two they're looking for a six to hit and one came out five so that's going to be a hit there's a four is a hit five is a hit six is a hit so that's four hits that the um russians must take and so that is bad news for the Prussians because that's going to wipe out both of these units because there's only two, and uh, you flip them over to their you flip them over to their reduced side, and then they take hits again, and they're gone. So that's going to take out this leader. That was not good for the Prussians. They go back up into their reserve full strength, and uh, then they march. Forward. I guess they don't they don't really attack though. It's basically um uh, that was bad for the for the Prussians. So let's get that out of the way. We'll put everybody back. And basically what happened was it's just no change there is the overall effect. Marched in, they were gonna help with that siege, but they got wiped out. Probably wasn't a smart thing to do anyway, but we did it. So the Austrians, I'm going to say they still have two action points. I'm looking up here. I think I probably should fight a battle up here because these guys are, I think we have to spend an action point to do that. So let's do that. Let's spend an action point. We're going to attack this um, fort up here. And they're going to, of course, they're going to be in the fort. These are all Hackers, so these guys come out, but they cannot be used for this because they are depleted. 
We have a leader and two full strength units. And this will be a fort battle. Uh, this unit gets a plus one to its roll, so they're going to fire on the, on the Prussians. Four plus one is a five, so that is not enough to hit. Three of the Prussians can fire back, and they're looking for sixes, no modifications. They managed to get a six, so that's going to deplete this unit. But unfortunately, it doesn't eliminate that unit. Put these back. Prussians were hoping to push out that last bit of resistance in Thorn, I think it was. Failed. So that was one action point. One action point remaining. I'm going to bring down these two units. I'm going to spin this action point, which will bring these two units down. So now we're looking a little better down here, but not so much up there. All right, so that is resolve the attacks. Uh, remove recovery markers from units. We do have one of those. Put it out of the way. Mark control spaces. That didn't change. Can anybody draw a tactics card? Well, obtaining tactics cards when you take control of an enemy fort or resource space? No. Relieve the siege by clearing all enemy units? No. Win a field battle? Um, of course, this is the phasing player's side, so I'm going to say no, they don't get a, they don't get a tactics card there. So that is that. Checks if he has, if he may draw. We did that, so that is going to end the turn for the Prussians, and we draw another chip. Um, so we got this back to zero. Yeah, this will draw another chip. See who goes now. There are only three chips in this cup that I saw. Prussia again, so that's good for Prussia. So we saw the Austrians go twice in a row. Now we're going to see the Prussians go again. First things first, they are going to roll a d6. And they rolled a 2. Plus 2 more is 4. Um, let's see what they do. So they have rolled, and now we check for, again, line of communications. Uh, that's not a problem here yet. Still a bit early. Is there anybody they can recover? I see units they would like to recover, but they can't. Um, okay, so... It's march and fight, march and fight. So now we can take, we can spin an action point. I'm a little nervous over here with, uh, it split part of these forces off. But then it opens up to this. It would be two action points to get everybody down here. I could also pull them back up this way to try to relieve what's going on back here. May not be a bad idea. So for one action point, I could go one, two, two action points, I could go three, four. Hmm. And that leaves this stack of doom down here. It also leaves this resource fort open, which I probably don't want to do. Let's be bold. Let's spend, uh, it's going to be two action points because I want all of these units to attack down here. So we're going to do it. We're going to bring all of these units. Down to here. I'm going to grab a handy dandy battle marker because there's going to be a battle there, we know. Remind me. I have two action points left. I'm going to spend one more to attack this again, so let's do that. Now we're down to one action point. I'm going to spend this last action point to move. These two units, one, two, back up to that resource. And so now we see what happens with the battle. So let's start up here. This is an easy one. And so this guy, let's just do the battle here, dragging it all the way across the 
battle board because I'm trying to speed this up. So he is going to be in the fort. And Defender fires first. So he gets to fire 1d6, and he's looking for a six, a five or six, because he's plus one. It's a six, so he actually manages to wound this Prussian unit. Wound. He <laughs> depletes him. So now that was good for him. But now the Prussians get to fire back. No bonuses. They roll 2d6. They're looking for a six. It's the only thing they'll do. Again. They get a five and a six. So unfortunately for for Austria, that's going to take this unit, the Saxony unit, actually, back to the Saxony reserve. Uh, and that's going to flip a space. So I'm going to go ahead and show that now. The, the This is going to move up to 12. This will move up to 7, showing the control has changed. Uh, there will be a tactics card for that. Just put out a, a blue disc to remind me that there's a tactics card there. So. Well, that's good news for the Prussians because now they can move these forces down to help what's going on over here. So here and here. So that was good. Now we got this huge battle down here. I am going to use the battle board. Let's go ahead and put that battle marker here. So I don't forget. And this is a resource fort, so we can actually put two units in the fort. And I'm I'm pretty sure that. Austrians want to do that, so we're going to put two units into the fort. And the defenders will fire first. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The six they're firing at the Prussians. Looking for a six to hit, because they have no leader. And not a single hit. Every single one of those <laughs> missed. Five was the highest they rolled, and only one of those. Wow, that was some low rolling right there. All right, that's not good for the Austrians. So the Prussians, we will let um, the uh, this leader with his tactical rating of two. I can't read his name. It's again the lighting here is driving me nuts. But probably need to get a magnifying glass to help out with some of this. But there's one, two, three, four, five. They can only do four. So we're gonna fire the first four. And there'll be one more in that top line. We're going to do this line by line. So four at plus two. Oops, I'm dropping dice. Four at plus two. We're looking for a six. He rolls a two, a five, a five, and a six. So that's three hits. Put it upon the Austrian line, initially, anyway. And I'm going to roll. Okay, let's do this. That's three hits. Yeah, I'll put it over here. That's three hits. So far, because that was just this first four units to get the modifier. And now we're going to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is seven. We're going to roll 76. And here we're just looking for a six to hit. Let's see. Hit only one six. Wow. That is bad news for the Prussians. So that's four hits total on the Austrians, and of course they can take those as they choose, and I'm sure they're going to choose to just take one hit on each of these hits that will keep them in the game. So that's it. That's their four hits, and uh, nothing changed there. So we'll take this battle marker away. We'll put our I'm going to put this resource fort marker out just to remind me that's under siege. And then we know it is. All right, so da, 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 we fight battles, remove recovery markers. There were none. Uh, mark control of spaces by placing a control marker. We did that already. We put one up here. We changed our. Uh, oh, and actually, Saxony should have gone down one. I forgot to do that. So we did take Prussia up one, Saxony. And if I remember correctly, I had a hard time figuring out which one was Saxony. Um, I don't think they had their own marker. Um, I guess it's the overall, I guess it's this. That is the Holy Roman Empire, right? And then, oh, that's France. So that's France. Um, this one was... 
I guess that's the overall alliance marker. I guess that would go down one. That's it, three. All right, uh, I'll have to double check that. So we did that uh, and draw tactics cards. So the Prussians were successful here. So they get to draw a tactics card. Let's do that. What do they draw? The cavalry charge. I'm seeing the same cards over and over. And over. Okay, so that is that. And we go back to the reaction points back down to zero. Go back to draw another chip, and there are two remaining chips in the cup. So let's see what we pull here. It is the turn end marker. So we will end the turn. And the only remaining marker in there was the poor French. They did not get to go this turn. But they will go back into the cup next turn. So oh, we return. Used and discarded tactics cards to the decks, then reshuffle them. So we do have some discarded ones. And so let's do that. Let's just shuffle these back in as I can. And then the Austrians. Now, I think, am I missing something here? I, I thought there was a, uh, and I'm thinking of the winter turn where they draw up cards, so never mind. So we did do that. Okay, so we returned, used discarded tactics cards, we reshuffled them, respond to any events. Um, there were no events. Like victory conditions, no, we're not even near that. Slide the turn marker along to indicate the start of the next turn. That's gonna take us up to um, April of 1757 and the first Great Britain Hanover chit will be placed into the cup. Rinse and repeat is what they're telling me here. So I am going to do that. We're going to take the cup and now all of these chits that we pulled out, plus that end of turn marker will go into the cup. And I will go on to the next turn. Okay, and but what I just realized what I did do wrong. This this is Russia's marker again. I got I get these confused. I keep the game does not provide resource markers for three of the Austrian. I think it's the Austrian side. It's um I forget which one's exactly Sweden, Holy Roman Empire, and somebody else Saxony. I think it's these three. Anyway, so this wasn't a resource for it anyway. So I should not have moved these markers up. I should stay right where they're at. We got our tactics card, so that can go away. So we uh, we moved up to the next turn. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> we reach into the cup. Well, if I can fill one, there's all kinds in there, right? How's it fit? fill something? And it is Austria. Take that over there, and Austria will get to roll for its resource. It's a resort. <laughs> get to roll for its action points. So Austria, straight roll, no addition to it. Four. We will put them on four. And we will begin. Terminate our action points. Recover and move their forces. Does anybody need recovery on the Austrian side that can be recovered? And I don't can't recover anybody. But we can certainly move our forces. So, or I believe we could also spend one to. Player may spend one action point for any space with an ongoing siege where no new units enter to initiate it. So I think we could spend one to fight a battle here if we were so inclined. And I'll be honest, I don't know if that if I want to do that. I just it's nice to have these Prussian units tied up down here because there's some. Frederick doesn't look so good up here. He's got two stacks of Austrian units. Looking at Leipzig down here, so we I kind of we still have these Swedish units up here just sitting. It's certainly spend an action point to get them on the move as well. Probably not a bad idea because there's a resource space right there. So 
Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to leave that like it is. We can... I think I do want to pay, though. Um, I think I do want to attack again here. And I think that was one action point is what I said. Ongoing siege for no you knew. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's spend an action point. And we will fight this battle again. Um, I'm going to spend... It would be one, two action points to go over there and take that resource. I don't, I'd be crazy not to, right? For three, that would leave me one. I'm going to do it. What do we got here? Two, three, four, five, six. So I spend one action point, move them down to here. Of course, that's going to leave that open. <laughs> I don't want to move all of those. Let's leave leave uh, two units behind. I don't know how many more units to do. Does Sweden have in reserve? None. So that's everything they have. So do they want to do that? Um, let's not do that yet. Let's put that back up to three. I don't. I think that would be a temporary temporary gain at best, but I don't know. Maybe we do. Well, let's see, we've got these guys can take this. That'll only be two here. Well, we still have these guys though, and they could certainly um, come around this way or back up that way. Of course, it would tie those forces up. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Let's take this down to two. This moves. All these forces down, and let's move it down to one. And that will go into, they'll all go into here. And that will get a control marker on the board for Austria, finally. And that will change the, uh, that will drop the Prussian control marker down. Austria's goes up. And this will come down to 10. And that's also going to mean a tactics card for Austria. And we have one more point in. And I'm going to move, I'm going to spend it. And is that a resource? Yeah, that's a resource point. I'm going to spend it to move. This guy, is that a resource for it? That is not. So let's move this down to here. So let's resolve our, resolve our battles. We have this one. And the defender fires first. That is our depleted unit in the port who can roll 1d6 and add... And add... That was not a resource for it. That was simply a 4. So we can add 1. He's looking for a 5 or a 6, and he gets a 5. Wow, all right. So manages to... Reduce one Austrian unit, which is good. So that means the D6, there it is. So that's seven. So there's seven D6, has to be a six to kill that Prussian unit. And there are actually two sixes in there. So that's more than enough to take out that Prussian unit that was holed up in that fort. Which means that control changes to the control marker here for the Austrian alliance now. So that's another change in control for Austria. So that's going to bring the Russian marker down. Well, let's see. I think I'm confusing myself. Well, I guess it will. We'll bring this back down and this back down. Is that right? Because I see something that says Austrian victory, sudden end. That can't be right. Did that screw up that bad? Of course, this won't, we won't check this until we get to the check victory conditions. But if the number of resource spaces controlled by the Prussian player has fallen down to eight, 
or nine if the Austria of the Austria Australian Alliance if the Austrian Alliance has taken Berlin. So well, they haven't taken Berlin, and we're only down to nine. But that puts the Prussians in a very very precarious situation, mainly due to me not really paying attention to that victory condition. <laughs> so we've so changed control of. No, wait a minute, that's not a, uh, here we go again, I'm confusing myself. That was not a resource fort. Okay, never mind, that goes back up to there, that goes back up to there. Did I do that right? Yeah, because they had lost, uh, they did lose the one, so that wouldn't go back to 11, and that wouldn't go, so yeah, they, they did not lose one for losing control of Torgal here. They just simply went back to control for the... Austrians. So let's put the Austrians back in there. They only have one completed unit. But it is a good reminder for me to uh, remember that. Got to watch out here because that you've got to pay attention to your uh, resource, the resource track if you're the Prussian player because the it's, you hit eight and it's over and we're already down to ten. And the, the Austrians are threatening Berlin, so if they can get if they can take Berlin and they can just knock it down uh, eight there, they, they've won. Yeah, so if they if they can take Berlin and get that down to nine, they win. So they're, they're Russians are teetering right now. All right, so I'm getting myself straight here on these resource markers. It looks to me like I got out of count here. So Prussia starts with five. They they only have four left now because they lost this one. So they really their marker is on four, and the only other um, resource markers that we can add to their total for this this total alliance is uh, Russia and Great Britain Hanover. Uh, of course, not until Russia is even in the war on their side. So it's really just Great Britain Hanover, and Great Britain Hanover they haven't lost anything, so they're still at five. So this this is at nine. So these the Prussians are in serious trouble right now. The way I see it. So, continuing on then, we have adjusted that correctly. you got to keep up with your resource markers, and which side controls how many resource markers in this game. Easy to lose track of, especially when you're doing it solo and trying to record at the same time. Um, okay, so, the, uh, there will be a, we're not, where's my cheat sheet? Actually, it's the rule book. So we did the, um, we changed our control markers. And the Austrians are at six, which I believe is correct. I'll check that too. Austrians started with five, so they now have six. Okay, so yeah, they get to draw a uh, tactics card because they did take, is it, they, all, they, they only get to take one. Unfortunately, but they do get to take one, so they took control of that resource fort. So we're gonna draw a tactics card for them. And it's a wetlands card. In the enemy's phase at the start of battle, limit their commander bonus to one. So they might. And like I said, I keep forgetting these cards are out there and I need to start remembering that more. So that was the Austrians' turn. We now go to the guy. And okay, let's get this out of the way. See who goes next. And we pull out. France, finally. This is the first time France will get to go. And France um, is part of the Austrian alliance, so they will get to roll. And they roll a two, so nothing spectacular there from the French. Move that up to two. Of course, there is going to be, uh, well, they're in line of communications. They haven't even moved yet uh, to. Nothing to recover, and all they can do is march. And they're not going to march very far because they are so far down here in the corner that there's just not a lot of space they can, especially with two action points, they really can't get very far. They are going to, what are they going to do? They're going to move. I mean, like I said, there's really not much else they can do, but who are they going to move? Their leaders are all 1 8. So it's not horrible. It's a one bonus to eight units. I think we're going to start working a stack towards Great Britain. So we're going to spend an action point to move. Um, I think we've got some extra units here because I replenished during the winter phase. So it's one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. So basically, I'm going to take the leader and leave one unit behind. So that'll leave one unit behind, and we will move them one, two, because remember, this is part of the alliance, the Austrian alliance, so this is considered friendly territory. They can move two. So they'll move all the way up to here this turn. We will do that. They have moved, and I think we're going to move another stack. And this is a stack of eight, I believe. Uh, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So, and we can move this stack. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go towards Great Britain, Hanover, or do we want to bring this stack towards uh, Prussia over here? Well, let's just work up this way. So let's go ahead and bring them up. They can move, move them this way. They can move um, all together. They can move two spaces again for this one action point. So that's down to zero. And that will move them all the way up to here. And this stack remains in Strasbourg. And that is it for the French. But just to be completists, um, they have moved, recovered, no battles to fight, no recovery markers, no control, and they cannot draw tactics cards. So a speedy turn for the French, and we will go back to the cup. See who goes next, and it is the Prussians. Well, that's probably good news for Prussia. And of course, we will um, check for line of communication. Nobody is. Well, I'll take that back here. What do we? I know because this. Yeah, no. Nobody's. Nobody. Look. Okay. Yeah, still nobody. Getting a little hairier, but nobody's. Nobody's out of line of communication. Next, we will roll for action points. They roll a one. <laughs> oh God. The one plus two is. A three um, action points. So that's three action points for the Prussians. Not not good at all. Um, and now we recover and move forces. Ooh, we've got a lot of units over here that we could recover. And that's where this three is really painful. We can also spend a point here to try to attack this resource port again. We could also spend a point to get Frederick out of Leipzig. Of course, that would that would mean the loss of another. That would be bad because that, that would be a loss of another resource base. And if they do that, then they are going to lose. I don't think we can. I don't think we can leave Leipzig. No, this is. I don't know what I did to Prussia here, but if you watch the entire video series, don't play Prussia like I did. Because <laughs> I, I don't think it was very smart. Precarious situation right now. They can't afford to lose Berlin. Unless I'm counting resource markers wrong, resource uh, points wrong here. I know, definitely know that Prussia currently has four, and I know that uh, Great Britain has five, so that's nine. I don't, that can't be wrong. I guess what I'm looking at is if they do lose this, if they do lose this, it doesn't count. I guess it's really uh, the Austrians are just taking that back, so I guess that wouldn't drop the control marker, unless that's what I'm missing. Maybe it, maybe this should be at 5, and that should be at 10. I think that's where I went wrong. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six total for the Prussians because they gained this one, but they lost one. So they really should be at five, which means this would be at ten because so yeah, it's not as dire as I thought. Got to be real careful. I'm, I kind of screwed up. So what I what what's going on here? Great Britain has five. That's given, and that's how they started. Russia has. They started with the rule book says uh, five, I believe. 
Yeah, precious starts with five. So that would have been one, two, three, four, five. They early in the game took this one, so that would that would have given them six. But they lost this one, so they're back down to five. So yeah, five and five is ten. This is right now. Okay, not quite as dire, but it's still um not good. So looking now again at what Prussia wants to do with their three measly action points. And honestly, I think, you know, this um, historically might have been the case anyway, not not what, what <laughs> not the way movement is occurring. But the Prussians, I think um, they're on there. It's not looking so great for them uh, early on. Uh, not until uh, Russia gets involved on their side, did things start to look a little better, I think. And even then, I'm not sure. One thing to consider would be to bring a stack out of here. So for two action points. I could go one, two, three, four. This is not going to get them up far enough, though. These guys, I could move. Of course, they're, there's only, <laughs> they're all depleted, but one, two, three. I think that might be a smart thing to do. I think if we move all of these units, one, one, that's one to move here because they don't control this space. So one, two, three. I don't think they controlled Posen early on. No, because these forces came from the north, so they do not have control of that. I guess they could take control of that on the way through, though. So it would still be one, two, three. That would be all of their action points. I couldn't recover anybody. I'm going to do that, though. We're going to spend three action points. The three action points? Three, I've got three. So it's one to move here, and that'll give them control of that. Um, so we'll show control here. That will bring them down to here. A one action point. And then for an and that's one action point. And then for an additional action point, I can move two because it's our territory. So I can go one, two. So I'm gonna bring them to Berlin. That will give us two leaders in Berlin, two recovered units, or full strength units, I really should say, and then four, four of these uh, depleted units. But hey, we, it's whatever. So we really have four full strength units, two leaders, and four depleted units. But that's going to help beef up Berlin, which is currently uh, under threat of being wiped out. So we still have one action point left. And I'm going to spend that action point to recover. Um, I should have been a one. That that's gonna I'm gonna recover one of these units. Because let's be honest, Berlin is needs all the help it can get. I'll put these leaders back on top. All right, so that is it. That's all they can do. Um, we've moved those units basically and recovered them. So three action points. That was not good for Prussia. Uh, fight battles. There are no battles to fight because I can't spend any more action points anyway to resume battles anywhere. Remove recovery markers. There are none. Uh, no control. No tactics card. Nothing changed. That is the end of that turn. We'll go right back to the cup. And what do we pull out of the cup? We pull Great Britain and Hanover. So that's good for the Prussian alliance. Uh, so let's see. Uh, first we roll. Well, let's see. Line of communication. They're fine. Then we roll for the action points. We get five. So that's that's good. That's good. So action points are at five. And recover and move their forces. Nobody to recover, but they can move. So they have five uh, full strength units off the map, and I believe it is a one at a time deal to get them off map uh, into one of these spaces. Let's see. Let's get five action points. This is a. Hmm. He's got. 
There are actually one, two, three, four, if you count the leader. Okay, so what do they want to do then? They they do need to they do need to help their friends, the uh, Russians, so they could move this way. One action point would get them to here. You know what I think they might want to do is let's get let's go ahead and spend one action point. That'll take them down to four, and that'll get them to one, two. Because remember, they can move two. This is considered friendly all the way to here. That is going to at least temporarily provide some relief to Frederick down here, I think. Um, I'd be careful then now because we're leaving this open and we have French. The French are coming north. Okay, there's two units here. I could spend another action point to get these units down. Let's do that. So I'm going to take these and move them down for one action point. And then I'm going to bring, and so these are off board. I can spend an action point to move them off board. I can't put them back on. Can't do it both ways in a phase, but you can certainly move them one way. So I'm going to spend another action point to move one of these down. I could spend two more to bring out two more units. I don't, I think when they come off the map box like this, I think they can only move one. I don't think I, I get that bonus for some reason. Let me check that real quick. So that is correct. It costs one action point to move a unit by C, and that's exactly what we would be doing. So um, I could spend another one now to move him down. One, two is a maximum now that he's actually on land, but I don't think I want to do that. I really think I want to get some more of these units. I think I want to spend two more action points to bring out two more units. Let's do that. Let's spend... Two more action points to bring out two more units. I'm just going to bring them all down into here. So we need some more British forces down here. So that's that's going to be it for recovers, fights, battles, recovery markers removed, control didn't change, can't draw tactics cards, nothing happened, everything's fine, and we go to the chip cup again. So again, I'm trying to do this a little faster, but it's still going to take forever. So I'm going to have to finish this game. Offline, so we draw a chit. It is Prussia. Line of communication. Again, I don't think any Prussians are in trouble here. We roll for their action points. They get they roll two. <laughs> so we're still not good. That'll get them to four with the plus two. And I'm going to look because I said over and over. I keep forgetting these, but let's look at. Tactics cards, or their cards here in their hand. And they do, I'm going to spend the rapid advance. So they're going to, they're going to spend that. Because they need to take some action here, so we will discard that, and it'll give them two more. It'll take them up to six. Whether they need that or not, I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, so yes, right off the bat, I can see that we need to recover... Three units, so we're going to spend three. Take us down to three, and just like that, we're in half. But now I have every army in Berlin is now full strength. That is three. One, two, or so. Seven total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight total. That's a full stack. So that is good. Berlin now has a size eight fully full strength stack in there. So that's what they needed. And we still have three action points left. I could still initiate a battle here. So we could march from Berlin down into uh, Torgal here. Try to take that back. But then that leaves Berlin open to uh, to attack, and we don't want to do that. I think, and then we have Frederick. So I could try to I could try to take Dresden. That'd be rough. That is a resource port. Wait, what am I talking about? This is a. 
Oh, no, no, no. That is a resource fort. That is a resource fort. So I could try to... We're going to have to do something, because like I said, we got... We even got Sweden coming down here from the north, which isn't good. And then the Russians are going to come into this thing uh, next turn. I think we're going to have to... I'm going to... We need to resolve this down here. I'm going to spend an action point to... Uh, let's just use an active... Well, let's use some... To, um, we're going to reinitiate this battle. Start cons forces we still have. I think I need to pull more forces back up here. I can move. These are there two. But I can pay one to go one, two. Pay another one to go into here or up here. Well, I definitely want to do that. I definitely want to move. Okay, so spend an action point. We definitely want to move these two units to one, two. So we're going to do that. We're going to move these two up to here. We still have one action point. I think I'm going to move them up here. I'm going to spend this final action point, and we're going to move northward towards the Swedes. And then whether I decide to attack some kind of combination attack, we'll see later. So that's going to do it for movement. And now we go to our uh, resolve battles. We do have one, it's down here. That's the siege marker, so we're just going to move that out of the way. The Russians are the attackers. And of course the attacker, uh, the defender could retreat, but they're not going to do that, this being a resource. So the defenders will get to fire first. This is a field battle first. Uh, one, two, three. Five, there's six units. They will fire. They get no bonus because they have no leader. Not good. Was there a leader over here? Need to get a leader in there if they survive. They're firing first, looking for sixes. They roll none. <laughs> oh, God. Two fives, but fives don't cut it. We really needed a leader there. So let, let that be a lesson. You need leaders. And now the Russians get to return fire. So this guy is the strongest leader, but he can only give his bonus to four units. So let's do those first. So he's a plus two, so they're looking for four or greater here. They get six, they get two fives and one, so that's three hits. Mark those off. We know they're going to take them off of. These units and not lose any units. We don't. Anything. And then there's one. Actually, he can fire. Okay, so we, this guy, we still have three left over. This guy can use his leadership ability to provide a plus one bonus to four more. So looking for fives or six. Here. This one that was shot across was a three. One, two ones, a two, and a three. <laughs> Not good. And then finally, these three uh, must roll a six. Nope, two twos and a three. So now we go back to the defender. The defender can choose to stand or they can retreat. So they're going to retreat. There's, a, there's eight. All right, so that's eight. Retreat. And um, okay. So four to I can go here or here. I think we're gonna come back towards this resource fort. So let's it's gonna cost an action point. So we will put that at one. Read this entire stack. Russians move up. And a fort battle ensues. So there are two units in the fort. They can, they're depleted, but they can fire. They have to get a six to hit. So let's see what they get. Uh, a one and a six. So they do manage to hit one of the Prussian units. That one. Now the Prussians get to fire. No bonuses. So it's one. 
again. We got 8d6. We'll just roll and roll again. So, first 8. And there are two 6s in there, so that's probably all they need. I don't have to roll the rest. So, these get eliminated and go back into the reserve. Uh, and well, that's bad news for the uh, Austrians. They did manage to lose this resource fort. So we'll get a marker, put that under Prussian control, and that immediately gives the Prussians one more. So they're at six. So that will push this back up to 11. So that's a little, little breathing room there for them. We will put the depleted unit there. And I'm going to put a blue disc to show that they do get a, we'll get a tactics card for that. And that's it. That's the only uh, battle for the Russians. Uh, fights, battles, remove recovery. Uh, we didn't recover anyone. Uh, and you know what? We did recover somebody, didn't we? I think I recovered and moved, which is not legal. And I I think it was from Thorn. I recovered, and I think I recovered and moved. I'll go back and look at that. I can always go back. It's for me to remember. You cannot recover a unit and then move it. Um, we marked our control. And they do get to draw tactics cards. So let's do that. They draw. Recall. In the winter turn, choose an enemy commander. Like I said, we've had this before. Kind of a powerful card. That does it for the Prussians. So we go back. There's still two chits in here, I believe. We pull one of those, and it is the. Oh, it's a turn end marker. All right. So that's going to end the turn. Let's get that out. Uh, I think I had the end of turn thing here too as well. Yeah, so return discarded cards to your decks and shuffle. So let's do that. Uh, we only have one to do for the Prussians. So we'll we will reshuffle the Prussian deck. And that is that. And then we will uh, events Russia peace now. Check for a draw victory now. And that's it. So what that will do is move the game turn up now to June of 1757. That's going to put the Russian marker into the cup for the next time. And as you can see, Russia has a lot of units up here. <laughs> so I'm going to take the cup and we're going to put all of these units in the cup. And, uh, yeah, so here, all right, so those are all in the cup, and I'm going to stop it here. Uh, I didn't do what I intended to do, and that was, what I wanted to do was play uh, up, well, what I really wanted to do was finish the game. I wanted to play um, each, to the end of each uh, winter phase, you know, all the way through and show you kind of the highlights, but I didn't have time to do that. So I just went ahead and we did a couple turns here to try to, and I went a lot faster, didn't do the separate battle thing. We normally have the battle board over here. I just wanted to, uh, as fast as I could, go through this, which means I know I missed some rules, messed some rules up. I will go back and check to make sure that I didn't march um, too many units to Berlin. If there's recovered ones, they should be back wherever they recovered from. I'll check that. Um, but there you go. Uh, it is looking, still looking interesting. Uh, I still so far enjoy the game. I will have some comments after the playthrough. We'll review and I will give complete thoughts of what I think about it. So for now, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.